Better hurry. The last plane leaves in about five minutes, and there's one seat left just for you. I'm Warren Miller, and together we're going to take a three-day Mammoth Mountain vacation. A lot of people, their mammoth vacation starts at the end of a leisurely five-hour drive up Highway 395 on Tuesday morning. And as you turn left and cross the 7,000-foot level, there's still a half a dozen miles to go before you get to the lifts. So it's a good idea to be ready, just in case there's some snow left over from the last storm. I've seen people climb out of $40,000 cars wearing $10,000 fur coats and put on their own chains to save the small price of having someone else do it for them. There's lots of nice things about a mammoth vacation. You don't have to make a full commitment until you get there. Some people have already made their commitment. Mom watches the dog while Dad skis. If you want to, you can leave your car at the condominium and take the bus to the lifts, or you can ride a bus all the way from Los Angeles. 35 years ago, on this very spot, Dave McCoy built his first rope tow and hot dog stand. Dave had a dream while very few people were trying to put their skis on. Today, a lot of people are still trying to put their skis on. Seemed like it was more expensive to ski 35 years ago, but today you can ski your whole vacation and pay for it next month. Works just like an automated teller at a bank. And those charge cards get a lot more people out to stand around and holler, single, while they wait for the pretty ladies to punch their tickets. Painless? You bet. Charge card will get you on almost 30 different lifts so that you can see scenery that looks like it should be in a genuine Hollywood movie. But this is a mammoth vacation, and this is why we're here. Peterson in his Playboy Guide to Ultimate Skiing says, I quote, you wouldn't believe what pours out of the buses and cars in that parking lot. Why, it's Heartbreak City. There's more blonde 22-year-olds than there are in all of Scandinavia. <laughs> 